Hello Rangers, welcome back to Wasteland 2 and to the Egg Center, which desperately needs our help. Because they have been overrun been with uh, plants and insects. All their employees, or researchers and farmers, seem to be in need of help as well. Uh, we did uh, get another member of the squad, Rose. Who is a, an older lady, not very keen on showing her lady bumps, but she does have a mechanical left arm, so that's kind of cool. Now, I did also figure out how to actually split items. You you just you just trade, and then it asks how many things you want to give. So Pills actually gave one extra trauma kit to Rose, who is using a handgun that uses shotgun ammo. You should probably give Rose the shotgun ammo. See? You can... Yes, yeah, this is the way you split them up. Yes. Just take everything. So, here we are. Deep in the egg center. We have a locked door. Carefully examining the door as Ardos finds a lock. Which Sethara can go and lockpick. Without incident. Preferably. Good. No. Scout the room, Seth. Do you see anything strange in here? No, just uh, just some crates. We have some ammo. And we have some... Oh, hello. That's an actual sniper rifle, I do believe. I don't know nothing about guns. They make a loud sound, and if you hit people, they generally die. That's about it. <laughs> Cold Eye, did you get that gun? You sure did. That does 16 to 20 damage. More range. More ammo. Same armor penetration. Same A. I, I think we found ourselves an upgrade. It's just better than the hunting rifle. In every way that counts. No, you do have weaponsmithing. What can you actually do with weaponsmithing, sir? You salvage usable parts and modification from weapons, then attach them to other weapons. This is your skill. You may also use it to strip a weapon down, potentially gaining a. Ooh. So now the question becomes, do we want to strip this down, or do we want to keep it and sell it? We are in dire need of cash, so we're gonna keep it. There's only one person in the party that has armor, and that would be our melee. You know, that is very well done. Why did I not go here? Rachel. You see another locked door? Show us what you can do. We need every advantage we can get. Oh, she failed. Ah, you can do it. I believe in you. Please don't call yourself mommy ever again. She just says, you should never call yourself daddy. Investigate, please. Ooh, a clean, tidy room, almost too tidy. A trap? Or someone who simply trusts too much? Only time will tell. Let's see, a reinforced with a combination lock on the swinging door. Sure, that's what you see, but what does my perception guy see? An explosive trap, you say? I still don't have anyone that can deal with demolitions. So... We'll have to save that one. Now, Rose does have 10 intelligence. So she is gonna get a hell of a lot of skill points. Maybe she should take all the fun skills. Why are you standing? Why are you standing in a pool of blood? 
Ryan? Ryan, is that you? Help me! Something's wrong inside me! I... She... She's a mushroom man! Oh no, Angela, death goes rogue! Watch how it's done. Yeah, that's not how it's done. Watch how it's done. Sathara will rush in and slice at the enemy. And then move aside so she doesn't get shot in the back. Hills will take up position near the wall and hopefully not shoot Angela Death in the back. Twice. Cold Eye. You do have... <coughs> You do have quite a bit of ammunition, and it's very tempting to shoot because you have 69% chance to hit. Nice. But I think we'll save your ammunition. Rose, though, takes three. So you can move on up. Can you stand right in front of Rosaros? Yes, you can. And then shoot the. Oh, okay. Never mind. So I guess this is an actual shotgun, although it goes on handguns, which is weird. Because a normal gun wouldn't have an AOE cone for damage. Uh, I guess you uh, go there. Are you gonna go boom when you die? You're a pod person, by the way. Not a mushroom man, but a pod person. We did see one of these when we came into the Ag Center, and they went boom. And also the exploding flowers go boom. The ex exploding flowers, the exploding parts, they also go boom. I'm gonna shoot you once, okay? Go here, we crouch down, then we fire. Sir, I can handle this myself. No, no. Oh, it did go boom! I was afraid of that. Angela Death's bullets from her giant wrench rip into a pod person for 14 points of damage, ending its painful metamorphosis. Man, some of these descriptions are just awesome. Pod person explodes, sending out bone and pod shrapnel that lacerates Sathara's face for eight points of damage. Firing widely, Rosardos hits pretty much everything except a pod person. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this because there's a lot of fun things there. We have an infected heart. Why not? Right, people? Let's mosey on. This looks like an airlock into the East Greenhouse. Needs a code or someone to hack it. We do have the codes. Don't worry, I can open the airlock. Thank you, Rose. She threatened the airlock with her gun. Shotgun. Oh, I see some odd things here. Ooh, there's another one in there. We need... We need... Is it nine more fragments? We definitely need to take care of them. There's also something sparkling in here. Or is that you? Or something is definitely sparkling. Could just be butterflies. I see another one there. Right, squad. Let's move into the room. Go carefully. I'm seeing a bunch of researchers and farmers under attack in the greenhouse. You've got to get rid of the animals attacking them and clear a path out. That's already... The, the path out is clear. The, the path out is the way we came in. That should be fine. Uh, you saw them being attacked. I guessing that's over there. So let's set up a nice little ambush. 
You're actually gonna use your gun now, Angela. You can mosey on up or up here. Gold eye. You can hear the sounds of buzzing flies over the oppressive stink of cloying vegetation. It's like lunch hour at the Ranger Citadel. We've never been inside the Ranger Citadel. Okay. Cold eye, move on up here. Right behind this pillar. Watch out for those pods, youngsters. They explode. Also crouch down. Oh my. I, I consider myself unflappable, but that caught too. me off guard. Well, just make sure you bring some fragments of those pods for me. Ten should do. Hopefully I'll be able to synthesize a cure once I know what it is. Cold eye has been affected. Wait, 14,000 seconds left? Fourteen thousand eight hundred seconds. I fourteen thousand eight hundred. Divided by sixty should give me two hundred and forty-six hours. Minutes. Two hundred and forty-six minutes. Divided by sixty again. That should give me four hours. I can deal with the axe entry in under four hours, right? I didn't know they were that um <laughs> that volatile. Hmm, okay. This is not good, and I was kind of hoping to find a way, because they did say that if you were able to sneak up on them and had a green thumb, that you could possibly get an actual whole piece, which he could also use, but I think that... that... The solution went the way of the dodo. I don't think we can sneak up on him. Alright. We are going to... Um... Because we don't want none to die. Just in case. Well, I guess this means we just have to hurry on up a little bit more. Oh. Anyone gets anything to confess? I think this is our last chance. I'm in love with Kathy Larson. Great. Now we all get to die awkward. Rangers, help me rescue these fine men and women. It would seem they have something to discuss if they survive. Shoot! Fucking hell! They st I, 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 I panicked because they started hitting. Ooh. Good shot, Cold Eye. Oh dear. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if you will be affected by this explosion. Because if so, if you, any one of you get close here, I can just fire on this. Okay, so this does not give cover, which is why you couldn't shoot and to, until you stepped out. Be careful of the pot thing in there. Okay, I'm gonna position myself right up here. And crouch down. Save some... Ooh, ooh, Super fly is coming our way! Ooh, he got lucky. That was one AP. Well, we're just gonna sit our, right here out in the open. 79 Don't want to kill these near the hostages or near the people. So kill another. Plays too quickly and misses a superfly. Shoots the fence. The fence hasn't done anything to us. Damn it. Um. Go slice a superfly. Nice. No, 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 no. I must put you out of your misery. I need to increase my leadership skill, I think. Because I can't be having this.
36%. Yeah, no. Yes, come to me. Stay away from Rose, though. Okay, so you... You see me as primary threats. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Just leave those poor people alone. Now, how the hell am I supposed to deal with all of you people? Okay, you can go... You can move for 2 AP, then you crouch, and you, then you can shoot. At least once. Shit. Sight blocked. Shoot the superfly! Another one in the fence! <sighs> Angela? Sight blocked from what? This? Is this blocking your sight? What are you, an extreme midget? Can't you even reach? Oh. Shoot the superfly. Thank you. Shoot the other superfly. Shoot the other superfly. Ooh, that was a miss. Cold eye. Fire the pot people. Oh, nice hit. Nice hit. Unfortunately, that's all you can do. Slice the superfly. I don't know why you're crouching, but uh... thanks. Slice the superfly. Good. No. Lure those here. Lure them people here. Pills. You can fire. Weapon jam. How do I solve weapon jam? Like that. I click on the jam. In the name of science! Reload. Reload. Uh, move there and... Phew! Nice. Uh, that's nice. Ooh, he kicked her in the face. No, please don't scream. Right. <clears throat> Angela? Um... A pod person's crushing blow, cr crushing kick, almost knocks out Rose for 12 points of damage. Also, I feel a sneeze coming on. Ooh, that's better. <clears throat> and the mic went on again. Good. Good. want to shoot that guy just to get his hit points down a little bit. You won't... You hopefully won't kill... No, you can't kill him. Okay, good. Shoot. Shoot. Angela Death misses a pod person and slams a fresh mag home. Angela Death misses a pod person and grimly adjusts her aim. And she's coming here talking to me about sucking and not being tactical and all that. Well, Owie. Can you, Resortos, can you please hit the pod person? See, Angela, that's how it's done. Now, for some reason, we only have 50% chance to hit that one because, but that's because he is probably closer than five meters. I can't actually see exactly how far away he is. I wonder... I should be able to kind of calculate this. Because your, your range is 20 and you are like... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... If you make maybe one of these is about I mean realistically it would be one meter. Well, that's not twenty spaces, so 
Probably two for the sake of gameplay. Back up. Hold on. Shoot that pod person over there. Thank you. Now, back up. Slice the pod person. Slice it again. Uh, move away. Now, I was wondering if these exploding would also infect people, but we had a pod person explode on us in the last room and we weren't infected. So I think we're safe. It's just a bunch of damage. See, it's Pills, then it's Angela, then it's Rose. Rose is gonna back up and shoot this bastard. It's Pills can help take care of this one. Good enough, Pills. Good enough. Reload. Oh! Oh, that's way easier to kind of... Almost 20. Okay. Rose? Hmm, how... How wide is your... I kinda don't wanna risk hitting. Screw it. Die. Nice. Oh! Angela is going to. That one has one hit point. Crouch down, Rosardos. Aim. Aim carefully. Fire! Good. Of death is gonna back up. Fortunately, there are no attacks of opportunity. I'm just gonna back up a little bit more. I want to use space as ending turn. I should look into that. 69, perfect. You can hit. 27 damage! Cold Eye fires a bullet into a pod person, inflicting 27 points of damage, ending its painful metamorphosis. Good. Uh, you're gonna stand there, you're gonna you're gonna back up. Rose, back up. One step. Reload. Turn around and fire! Ah, oh, she took damage, she was too close. Well. Quickly, people. Evacuate in an orderly fashion and regroup in the lobby. Yeah, what she said. Infected brain. Infected pus sack. Okay. Fly wings. And some more hairy legs. Also, I need a lot of these. Hopefully, with ten fragments. She'll actually get uh, an antidote that can be used for everyone. Now that the gruesome part is no longer there, this is just a spiky, creepy monster plant. Ooh, you can get extra description looking at things. Or? No, just the pods. Phew. Oh, I didn't want everyone to shoot. Okay. Uh, that's bad. Note to self, if I ever want to do that again, toggle off group mode. Well, this looks like we can get a lot of these pods from here. I'm gonna go solo on this mission. Feel a fruit squish underfoot and then feel it slowly squirm and slash out of the way like a vegetable slug. Disgusting. At least they all seem to have pretty good aim outside of a combat. 
don't have to worry about that. How many of these do I have now? Why do you why do we only have two? There's five. Give all to Rosardos. Give them all to Rosardos. Good, so I need two more. This play Ooh, that did, did. You didn't expect the apocalypse to be quite this well green. Well look at that. That should be all the parts we need. I am definitely gonna go back and get the cure. We'll mosey on back people. Angela Death has a field promotion. Come on people. Run run run. There's an arrow here. The Garden of Eden, if someone had tried to fit the whole damn thing into a shoebox. Stuart, Pedrick, and Sandy. I'm gonna talk to you after we get done with the, um, the cure, alright? Alright. Hey, I- you my people who owe you their lives, Rangers. Can't thank you enough. No need for thanks, that's what we're here for. Hi, Rose. Glad to see one of ours is out there with this group of cowboys. Accenter is my heart and soul, Catherine. I'll do whatever I need to keep it safe. Huh? What are you doing here? You still owe me a pod, remember? Matt's life and the lives of any of you sorry-ass rangers who got blasted depend on it. Clock's ticking, Slowpokes. Have you managed to find one yet? Or a handful of fragments, at least? Cold eye is infected. Yeah, we have some pod fragments. Excellent. Come find me in Rose's lab in a bit. Hopefully I'll have a cure figured out by then. All right. Sethara had some pod fragments. All right. Bye. Thanks again for the pod. Find me later in the lab. Come on, Matt. Let's have a look at this monstrosity. How much later are we talking about? Because I only have about four hours before one of my people... Uh, will be turned into turn into what? Probably a pod person, huh? Rosardo said, have pod fragments. He sure did. We sure did, and I have also earned a field promotion. I'm gonna save those for when it's really needed. Have you finished your cure yet? Good, you're back. I've got the cure. At least I know what we need. It was easy once I figured out the pods were mutated fungal spores. Oh. All we need is a fungicide, and fortunately, there's a bunch of the stuff in the mushroom caves in the basement. Bring me some, and I can make a serum that'll cure Matt and any of you who are infected. So we don't have the cure yet. Okay. Please, go, quickly. I will. Matt doesn't look at you, he just hunches in his chair, shaking and staring at the floor. I guess we're not allowed to actually purchase anything. Okay, we still have 14... Now we only have 14,000... Ooh, seconds. That's still four hours. Can't believe I'm not dead. I can't believe I'm not dead. You can't believe you're not dead? Look, man, when all this is over, I'm gonna finally do it. I'm gonna ask Kathy out. Not if I do it first. She'll never pick you when she knows how I really feel. Ah, oh, you're crazy. She's f so far out of your league that she's playing a different game. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. I'd say may the better man win, um, but that would put you at one sad disadvantage. Asshole. What about uh, Kathy's feelings? What if she doesn't want to date any of you? We are gonna be running. Because we need uh, need to be a little bit fast here. We need a fungicide. Um, like that one. The fungicide from the mushroom caves in the basement to synthesize a cure seems a little strange, but she's the scientist and the mushroom caves were... Below the computer room, I do believe. 
which ain't good. Take out some aggression on that little pot plant. So, we have some of these vines. Can we shoot the vines? Barbed tendrils envelop everything below, barring your way. The plants will need to be cut away or blown up before you can pass. Cut away, you said. Well... This door is sealed with vegetation and you don't see a code panel. Looks like it needs to be bashed, bombed, or pried open. How about we... Nice! That worked. Now, there is a scientist back there who was also kind of enveloped in vines, but we were only able to attack him and not the actual plants. Oh, unlock the door, please, Seth. I don't know what what's on the other side of that door, but... A door. There is a door. Is there anything strange about this door? No. Let's open it, shall we? This leads... Come in, Ranger Citadel! Come in, Scorpion HQ! This is Bergen again, calling from High Pool. We are still under attack! These damn wreckers are blowing us to pieces! Help! Anyone! Hi, Pool. This is Ranger Citadel. Our closest team is already answering a call at Ag Center, but they will try to reach you as soon as they can. You read me? Over. Yeah, yeah, Vargas. We've heard it all before. Hi, Pool always comes last, doesn't it? Scorpions don't treat us like second-class citizens. The Scorpions don't move! Oh, shit! It's the deck! Well... This time, it was actually the roll of the die that decided where we went. There's still power running to this door and the code panel is lit. It reads, lock failure. Can we slice this up? No! I forgot already. I am wasting a lot of ammunition here. I mean, this goes down to the central basement. Maybe that also, that's the... Mushroom caves? We need that fungicide because now two people are... You made it to the computer room. Great. Okay, now listen. The computer is basically fried. Unless you're secret genius hackers, its functions are going to be pretty limited for now. It'll only be able to open one airlock at a time. I just... You know, really though, if we're rangers, we should probably be going and try and save the farmers first. This was the east greenhouse, right? We should go to the west greenhouse as well. We are here to save the civilians, that's the alpha priority. Vegetation is pressed up against the windows in this corridor like a curious mob at the zoo. Cracks have appeared on many of the windows from the pressure. I'm just gonna keep getting these. Hopefully this ain't a Fallout 4 situation where you get a cure then you can only administer one or two doses that's why i'm collecting pod fragments still oh we're back here all right good then run this i couldn't cut you could i could only yeah, i can only talk to you i can't cut anything then how the hell am i supposed to save you because if i talk to you you're gonna die can't do anything. If I slice him, he's gonna die. I'll just leave him there for now, until I know. 
Maybe some of that no the fungicide wouldn't work. I know the codes, Rangers. <coughs> we'll be inside momentarily. Because they're plants and not fungi. Rangers, I see one of our animal researchers, Julio, near the radio dish. Looks like he's been cornered by his own rabbits. Watch out for those rabbits. They've got big, nasty teeth. Oh, we know. We've been fighting rabbits before. Just want to get rid of some. So. This is where the satellite dish is, eh? No oh, help! My rabbits have gone crazy! Um, sure. We'll get there. I think we can hoard a little run. Rose, God damn it! Now she's infected too! This is not going according to plan. Got a crushed can. This is not going well. Julio, is that you? He's been cornered by his own rabbits. I think they're going to eat him. Hang Giant. in there, Julio. Giant rabbit is immune to pot infection. All right. Cold eye, sit down. Shoot that rabbit. That's all right. He only had a 52% chance to hit. They do take damage from the explosion, but um, they are. They won't be infected. Something has twisted their brains. It's not their fault. I don't care. They're gonna die. All of them. Oh, Flopsy, no! Oh, Flopsy, yes. We're gonna have, have rabbit steak for dinner tonight. Lapis! Oh, God! Angela Death is just staring down the rabbit. Well, uh, you kind of suck here, Cold Eye. We're gonna move way back. Sithara's gonna slice us some dinner. Hmm. Hmm. That's some good slicing. It's not their fault, we know. Damn it. No! Suffering. Well, we can make us quite a few sexy costumes now. Hello, Julio. Looks like someone shouted the question, How do you like them apples? And the ground answered. While the fear has left his face, Julio is still racked with sadness. Rose, you loved my rabbits. How could you let them do that? I'm sorry, Julio. It had to be done. They weren't your rabbits anymore. You sons of bitches, you monsters. You murdered my rabbits. I raised them while they, they were kids and... Oh, I wish you'd just let me die. When Matt said the rangers were coming, I never thought you would make this madness worse. I suppose all I can do is hide now. Where can I go? How did the madness start? I was tending the rabbits as usual. That's my job. Feeding them fresh veggies from the garden when all of a sudden the plants started blowing up like balloons. The insects too. And after they ate the tainted veggies, my poor rabbits started changing too. It was horrible. If somebody is behind this, I hope that they die a slow and painful death. You think someone did this on purpose? I don't have any suspects or anything. I hope it wasn't one of us. That would be terrible, but if it was, maybe I would pick that weirdo, Sue. What makes you suspect Sue? 
He's a strange one. Strange name, strange habits, strange ideas. He's supposed to be a research assistant and help Matt with distribution. But he spends all his time either feeding the pigeons or hiding in his room and reading. I think he's up to something. Anything to say about Matt Forrestal? I saw him get blasted by one of those pods earlier when, while he was trying to pull Sandra to safety. I hope he's okay. Sandra didn't make it. Who is Sandra? Another farmer here in the greenhouse. She was just the gentlest, kindest pigeon wrangler you'll ever meet. What do you know about these exploding pods? It was awful. He moved too quick and it exploded right in front of him. Tore his arm to pieces. <coughs> Kathy's looking after him now. What can you tell me about Kathy Larson? She's the head researcher here. What a workhorse. Takes too much on herself, though. I think that's why she gets so upset sometimes. I bet she gave you some serious shit for getting here late, huh? Oh, if you only knew, Julio. If you only knew. No, we cleared the path. You can escape. How about the kitchen? Uh, okay, I'll hole up there. Have you found Dr. Larson yet? Everybody you save is probably going to be wounded, so you're going to need him. What do you think of Dr. Larson, and who the hell is Dr. Larson? He runs our infirmary. Best doctor we've ever had. Really knows his stuff. A lot of people are going to be in trouble if he's too hurt to heal them. All right now, mosey on and get to safety. I hope you're all right, Julio. That must have been heartbreaking for you. Yeah, he hates us all now. Well, we all have freaking... Uh, can be removed with the appropriate item. I need three of them items. Did I reload? I did reload. Speaking of, gonna reload again. How are my bullets? I uh, still have 40 of them. That should be fine. Well, this is it. Hope it was worth all your trouble. The red pods seem to be breathing or sleeping. Their vegetable lungs, vegetable lungs moving up and down. The lungs on the plants go up and down. Vegetation clogs the network of pumps and motors that would normally move the dish into place. We'll have to find a way to clear the overgrowth before you're... Before you be able... Before you be able... Before you be able to get this thing to work. So that's the satellite dish, eh? Metal glints faintly under the dense cover of brambles. It's the radio dish. You can hear its heavy-duty superstructure groaning under the weight of the growing, throbbing vines that are crushing it in their grip. Until the pumps that are feeding contaminated nutrients to the vines can be shut off, nothing is going to be able to cut through them. Alright, uh, there are more pods here. Or, one more pod. There's... That's the radio dish, okay. Now we can actually go to the, um... Wait, did I shoot this one? Uh, yes I did. I never looted. Ooh. Door. Can we open the door? We sure can. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Just uh, the same thing as in the... On the other side. Can't do anything about that. So there was just the one person in here, nothing else. I haven't seen hide nor hair of a Dr. Larson. You're not sure if the vegetable he vegetables here are ready to be plucked or if they're looking for humans to pluck and devour. Alright. Well then. We're going to the computer room, down into the mushroom caves, hopefully, so we can get some fungicide, so we can freaking get cured of this thing. Run, Rangers. Let's see, Cold Eye got infected first, he still have 13,000 seconds. So, 13,000 seconds is 216 minutes which is still wait no 
That was weird. Yeah, 3.6 hours. Should be fine. So the computer can only open one airlock at a time. Oh, East Maintenance Key Card. What that? Well, it's a maintenance key card, of course. E a plastic key card. The words Sun, Sun, Z. East Tunnel Maintenance are printed on one side. We have a crushed can. Yep, it's a crushed can. We have so many pod fragments. Oh, rabbit's foot. Minus two Alamon Whisperer, plus one luck. Didn't I get one of those before? Didn't I put that on someone? Yeah, put it on me. I think Cold Eye deserves to have some more luck. Let's have some rabbit ears and more, some more rabbit tails. Have a can of tuna. A dented can with a smiling fish on the label. So why are you picking up the 12 gauge ammo? Give them to Rose. Ooh, TNT, I forgot about that. Wait. Oh, sap gloves, that's why it looks different. I was wondering, wh wait, why do I have a white hand and everyone else a freaking flesh colored hand? Tan hand, beige hand. Just to the right of the... Now you see a computer with scrolling lines of code on the screen interrupted by static. It's beeping alarmingly. Any hackers who want to apply their skills in your party? Yeah, Rose. Just to the right of the screen of the green and black monitor, you notice a 5.25 inch floppy disk jammed into a drive. The label sticks out just enough to read a bit of the scroll text. See, access violations detected. Limited system access available. Airborne toxins detected in ventilation shaft. Check status report for detail. Available commands, airlock E, airlock West, airlock S, status report or exit. Status report. Unknown command because. Uh, why are not you not? There we go. He didn't want to recognize my S. East ventilation shaft status one of five active. Engage all fans to evacuate airborne toxins. West ventilation shaft zero of one active. Engage all fans to activate airborne evacuate airborne toxins. What about? Okay, so if we want to go south, opening south airlock, closing other airlocks. Because it sounded like there was toxin in, to the east and west. Asado said, airlocks. I guess we're now talking to the computer. Now well, this looks like a mushroom game. This terminal is spewing much of the same garbled text as the mainframe, but you think it's got enough power to open and close the nearest airlock. I'm gonna s just... Yeah, these... That's where Dr. Larson did all his fungal research. I'm seeing a lot of movement in there, but none of it looks human. Thanks, Kathy. Towering toadstools bloom throughout this cavern. I read that as tavern first, that would make no sense. Giving off a heady bouquet of dung and decay. Oddly, while growing out of control, they seem to be politely mining the garden fences that contained them before they exploded. In all, an intoxicated caterpillar would not feel wholly out of place atop one of the mushrooms. I don't get down here a lot. Afraid I don't know much about it. Good lord. Look at the size of that mushroom. Skinner knows these caves better than anyone. Skinner? Would that be Principal Skinner or Director Skinner? 
I am just wasting a lot of ammunition. Ammunition. That's a super fly. Can you loot? Oh, he had to inch, inch forward. Okay, we need to find some fungi down here. Ooh, pod people. Just wanted you to move there. And move me over here. And shoot the superfly! I tried. Angela Death got a bonus action point. Well, that won't help much, will it? 52. Sure. You can hit on a 52, but you can't hit on a 60. You can hit twice on a 52, but you can't. <laughs> None of us get slimed. So we have two super flies and some pod people. Shoot! Nice, cold eye. I like him. Bills, you're just gonna... Hang back and be prepared to heal people. No, Rose, don't! I must put you out of your misery. Wait, you feeling sorry for the superflies? I question your priorities. Ah, we miss. Stay away. Oh no. You can move pretty far. <clears throat> Alright. Crouch down. Aim carefully. I think I think we need to get rid of the pod people first, but I, I'm gonna hit her, I just know it, so I'm gonna shoot this one. There we go. Nice shot, Rosardos. Yeah, we're gonna focus on this guy. She shot the ground in front of the pod person! There we go, that's better. Angela Death, Angela Death screams as she hits a pod person doing eight points of damage. Cold Eye. Shoot the pod person, please. Thank you. Then you're gonna sit there. You're gonna crouch down. And just do nothing. I need to get you a better weapon, Bills. That and or more points in... Uh, what the hell is this? Animal Whisper. Okay. And or more points in... Um, uh, handguns. Now, the only thing you're gonna be good for is... Taking down the Superfly. Because we do not want to go melee with the pod people. You need to reload, because of course you do. If I move up here, will I be able to hit here? Please die. Nice. Oh, is your... Just noticed one magazine. Hmm. Hmm. Eighteen. Well, that's nice. That's less nice. I think you're gonna come for us, so we're gonna move up, move back. Oh, 
please, no. No, we're poisoned as well. I'm gonna divvy out the damage a little bit. That's not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. Shoot the pod person. Nice. Maybe Rose can back off, reload, and then kill them both. You're gonna move out of range just in case. I mean, you you can hurt them a little bit more. Just a teeny tiny bit. Perfect. Thank you, Pills. And then a little bit more. the super fly whoa nice um what are you leaning against <laughs> oh dear uh, no bye bye nice That's 105 experience in total. We still have a few hours. Should be fine. Can't loot anything. Oh, you can loot you. Get some post sacks. We get, ooh, a compound eye. I don't know why I was excited for compound eyes. Wait, we have a cave over here? I didn't see that one. Ooh, Rose took more damage. That didn't exacerbate your status, right? No, you get... She got reinfected. So, if, just if, we get the timer down low enough, we just get that person to stand next to an exploding pod. So I basically have no time limit at all. So how long is this poison gonna be? 200 seconds, that's fine. So what the hell did we discover here? Thank you. Ooh, hello. Do we have some fungicide in here, I think? There's a lot of shells and bodies and another door. Ammunition! Oh, uh, was that... Did, did your blood spurt all the way over there? Go away, Sergio. My name ain't Sergio. Go away, Sergio. Hmm. Let's see. A sign on this door reads Fertilizer Storeroom. Warning Toxic Chemicals. You can hear sobbing coming from behind it. The scratches on this door look like they were made with fingernails. There's also blood. Knock, knock. This man smells of booze and sadness. He's. Kinda looks a little bit like Keanu Reeves, doesn't he? You ain't Sergio no more. Please, don't make me shoot you. Don't make me do to you what I had to. to... <laughs> you shot people? Where are the Rangers? Rangers? Oh. You bastards, what took you so long? Hang on, I'll unbar the door. Thank you, sir. I say, I saw that there was Hello, stuff. Ryan. Under. Dr. Herbison, that is. Looks like he didn't reach his weapon in time. Yeah, let's see, let's see this. A functional storeroom with shelves full of various chemicals and fertilizers. The farmer standing in the middle of it is hollow, hollowed eyed, hollow eyed, and spattered with blood, and looks like he's been crying. Okay. There was way more stuff back there, so we're doing this first. 
This researcher's, researcher's corpse is wearing a smiling photo ID badge labelled Ryan Herbison. Next to the body lies a strange weapon. This bizarre contraption looks like a cross between an industrial sprayer and a flamethrower. It has the word herbicide scratched on the side of it, but the herbie has been hastily painted over with fungi. Ooh, fungicide. That's what we need. Ooh, herbicide. Oh. Mm. It's an energy weapon. This is a fire. Mm, it's, a, it's an actual weapon. I was hoping that we could go up and kill the vines enveloping the researcher who had the plants in his brains. Brains. Seems we can't. The woman's fingernails are splintered and bent back. It looks like she was clawing at something. These doors. It also looks like she took a shotgun blast to the face. No more stuff. What this? These spray tanks are marked fungicide. Do not ingest. Dented and ancient, these tanks look to contain the very last drops of fungicide in Ag Center. Just what Dr. Lawson ordered. Nice. We're gonna talk to you though. Okay, okay. You're still people. So what are you doing here? You come to save the day? Well, you're too late. Oh, hi, Dr. Rose. Didn't see you there. Hello, Mr. Skinner. So. Why did you say that we're too late? Maybe if you would have come earlier, I wouldn't have had to kill my wife. What the hell took you so long? We was investigating a shrine on the other side, on the, kind of on the southwestern tip of Arizona, right on the border to Mexico. You should go check it out. It's kind of a nice place. You killed the woman out there? My, my wife Marta, she and my son Sergio were out in the fields when the madness started. I guess they came down here to the caves to find me. <laughs> they found me all right, but it wasn't them no more. Hmm. What are the mushroom caves? That's where we experiment with new breeds of mushrooms and other fungi. Not the cheeriest job in the world, being underground all day, but I like it. It's cool and quiet down there. At least it was, until the madness started. When did the madness start? I started seeing it in the mushroom caves about an hour ago. The mushrooms growing out of control, the other guys getting sick, acting funny. Then the alarm started going off. I tried to head upstairs to find Marta and Sergio, but Doug from Engineering and a few of the others chased me in here and tried to tear my face off. And then, then Marta and Sergio showed up. Mm, you got an awful lot of bugs crawling over this crate over here. If I found out somebody sabotaged us, I'd, I'd kill them. You think someone did this on purpose? Can't say for sure, but I have my suspicions. That Sue fella, for one, always trying to breed weird new plants. Maybe one of his experiments got out of control. What do you think of the boy named Sue? That boy's a strange one, and I don't mean his name. Knew a guy named Moonbat once, so Sue don't phase me. Kathy hired him on as a research assistant. But all he does is bitch about the way we do things around here. He keeps saying the plant should be free. That we shouldn't be hoarding them all to ourselves. If you ask me, he's the fella behind this mess. He did something to the plants to make them tear this place apart and escape into the world. Well, that does sound mighty suspicious indeed. If I see him, I'm gonna give him one for Marta and Sergio right between the eyes. Please leave the dispense of justice to the rangers, sir. What kind of sabotage? Some of the fellas thought somebody might put something in the nutrient mix. They headed off for the irrigation shutoff valve with Doc Larson to turn it off. I don't think they made it though. I could still hear the pumps. Hmm. What do you know about the pumps? They push water and fertilizer out to all the fields and greenhouses. Sort of the beating heart of Ag Center. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what do you know about the valve? Larson said that closing the pump valve would shut down the irrigation system. Maybe keep the infestation from getting any worse. 
been gone way too long though. I mean, maybe the valves, you have maybe the valves had uh, different settings like one, two, three, and you were uh, you had to turn it up to three to stop everything. But since we all know that valve can't count to three, it was doomed. What do you think of Dr. Larson? Doc's a great guy, been keeping us fit and healthy ever since he showed up here a year ago. Me and him are good pals. He always comes down to the mushroom cave to chat and pass the time. Always interested in what we're working on down here. Said fungi and molds could be very useful to him in his work. And now he's gone up with the fellas to help shut down the pumps while I just been hiding in this storeroom. Makes me ashamed of myself. He doesn't even own a gun. I just hope he's still alive. We're all gonna need a lot of healing when all this is over. Why are you hiding? I can't help it. My son's out there. What's left of him anyway. I don't want to come upon him suddenly and have to... to shoot him. Much better if somebody else does it. I can understand that mindset, sir. What do you think of the Desert Rangers? Always happy to see the Rangers come around. <laughs> Matt was a Ranger once. Did you know that? That's just a, such a weird question to drop into everything. Talking about uh, the, the whole uh, situation and what's going, what's gone wrong and people dying and people going to stop things and maybe sabotage and talking about suspects. And then just right in the middle of it. What do you think of the Rangers? Yeah, that's weird. Sergio, who's that? It's his son, but we can ask it anyway. My son. He was with his mama in the fields when everything went insane. I guess he must have caught the sickness somehow. Because when he came home with Marta, he... He attacked me, just like she did. Mm. So glad the blast that, that killed Marta scared him off. I couldn't bear to kill my wife and my son in the same day. Wait a minute. When he came home with Marta, he attacked me, just like she did. The blast that killed Marta scared him off. They attacked you. So I'm guessing then, since uh, if the woman outside there is Marta, your wife, I'm guessing you were all home, you got attacked, you ran away, they found you, and then you killed your wife. Poor bastard. So, I hear that you knew, know the merchant who saw Ace die. Who? Oh, you mean Sammy Haas? The snake squeezins man? Yeah, he was there when Ace was attacked. Don't know how much you'll get out of him, though. He was so scared when he told me, I could hardly understand what he was saying. Where can we find this Sammy? If you're lucky, he'll be in Rail Nomad. That's where he stocks up on snake squeezes before he makes his rounds. All right. So, it sounds like Ag Center, do this, then go to Hypool, help them with the raiders, then go to where Ace died. And if we got to find them them units somewhere too. So, you like snake squeezins? They are God's greatest gift to his creation. Most delicious thing you'll ever taste. It really takes the edge off, well, everything. Well, sounds like you're gonna need quite a bit of it. Did Sammy tell you anything about the attack? I couldn't get much sense out of him about that. All I know is that someone or something attacked him and Ace fought it and died. You want more details? You'll have to get him from Sammy, if you can. Roger that. We uh, cleared a path to the lobby. You can escape. Thanks, but I don't know if I'm ready to go. Don't want to see any ghosts. Don't want to see any what now? What do you mean by ghosts? What else would you call dead people you knew and loved who are still up and walking around? I killed one already. I don't want to kill no more. Oh. You mean as in you don't want to see your boy? Because he's kind of dead, but still up and walking? Bye. Hey, Rangers. If you're going to be heading out, would you mind me coming with you? 
Talking to you has made me ashamed to be hiding when there's work to be done. I know I might meet my son out there, but that shouldn't stop me from trying to get moving and see what I can do to help upstairs. Can I follow you? Just till we get out from the caves? Sure thing. Thank you. I feel better already. Okay, let's go. Okay, so you're not a follower, but you're gonna follow us. Fungicide, give me this. Best item, fungicide. I need to get up and fix that immediately. Ooh, Ooh a short barrel. Usable on pistols, SMGs, assault rifles, and sniper rifles. Lowers the range, but gives more chance to hit. Ooh, that's... Uh, that's, I don't know. Rangers love their guns and weapon modifications, or mods are one way to make them better. Weapon modifications are attachments that you can add to most weapons you possess and will increase their capabilities with things like better chance to hit. To modify your weapons, you'll need a squad member with a weaponsmithing skill. Then select one in your inventory and use the Attach Mod option. You will then be able to select the weapon you want to attach it to. Certain mods require different levels of weaponsmithing to install correctly. As we can see here, it requires 9 weaponsmithing. Field stripping will allow you to break down unneeded weapons for parts, which can often yield weapon modifications or junk parts that can be sold to interested characters in the world. Field stripping requires the weaponsmithing skill. This we knew because we looked at the weaponsmithing skill. Now, who took that medicine pouch? Why are you taking the medicine pouch? There are herbs in here. Kinda makes me think of Fallout 2. I have never beaten Fallout 2. I got as far as to I got as far as to Ooh. I don't remember the town names. The names where Marcus is the sheriff. That's kind of where I gave up playing because I had kind of screwed myself, I think, because I was not able to kill any damn thing down there. I got into combat and everything killed me in one or two rounds. So, yeah. Now we're gonna slice this up. I never learn! We are wasting so much ammunition. Can we open this? Reservos finds a lock. Well... For some reason, I thought that you were Sathara. But no, you're not a redhead. I do usually like to make redheads, though. I like redheads. It's fine. We're still alive. This fiberglass case with heavy plastic latches. Heavy plastic latches looks like just the kind of thing in which you'd safely store your guns. Finds a lock. Unlock it. Leave it with the expert. Please do. Isn't this what I already have? A sap glove? Yeah. I got some more TNT though. Carefully examining the safe, Rosardos finds an electronic lock which Rose can fix. This is a job for me! <laughs> Freaking 5 inch floppy disk. Yeah, that one sucks. Ooh, high capacity mag. For assault rifles and sniper rifles. Minus 2% chance to jam, plus 4 capacity. I... 
kind of requires four weapon smithing. Damn, I think Coli only has two. I was just about to say, I kind of want to put this on cold eye. Because I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to risk your sniper rifle jamming. Sickle is a... Uh, you are my bladed person. Is that better than your dagger? 6 to 9. 11 to 14. Yes, it is! Mm. Increased AP cost for a melee attack, though. But that damage increase is worth it. I mean, I could just do this. So if I need to hit more, I can just... Yeah. All right, let's move out. I am very tempted to run. Ooh, hello. I missed you. New pants. Computer gaming world number 52. Oh, what what do you have for us, computer? That's not what I meant to do. Computer gaming world number 52. It's the 1988 October issue. Looks like page number 54 is dog-eared. Gotcha. No. You're using tactical pants. What dirty pants look like? Ooh, okay. No. How about no? You're just gonna flag them as junk. Why is Angela all of a sudden started taking everything? All my junk items. Can I? No, I have to do them one at a time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you have two cans of tuna. The weapon mod goes to cold eye. No, it doesn't. Yeah, Matt seems to be a little bit down in the dumps. I forgot the bookshelf. So I'm thinking of going back and getting that cure immediately, in case he's kind of... History of the Ag Center, part two. So where's part one? I've missed part one. I think I've been in here, right? I've taken everything here. I haven't. I am extremely oblivious. Okay, keep an eye out for bookshelves, because we want the the whole Ag Center history. Yep, we are running back to Matt. Never liked mushrooms. Making them bigger hasn't helped. I mean, eh, some mushrooms. Sure. Thanks, Good. thanks for leading me out. Please look for Sergio. I just know he'll turn up. I, I just wish I was strong enough to go with you. Right, he was just gonna follow us until we got out of the caves. Maybe we should have gone and looked for Sergio. Well, too late now. Let's go back to Matt. Here we are. So, have you found the fungicide yet? Matt is deteriorating rapidly. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of, and we have the fungicide. Here we go. Thank God, you're just in time. Give it to me and wait right here. Also, give me something for my crew. Matt, your case is very acute. I'm going to have to inject a high concentration dose directly into your veins. That sounds dangerous. Kathy, I... I don't... I don't think... Shut up and give me your arm. I, I can feel it working. Hurts, but it's better. Better. Th thank you, Kathy. Thank you, recruits. I I'm, I'm gonna need some more time on the sidelines, but I, I think... 
I think I'm gonna make it. Good. Thank you, Rangers. If you have a sec, I have one more request for you. You'll be especially interested if any of you caught the infection. Mm hmm yeah, Keep talking. Yes, thank you, Rangers. Matt would have died without you, not to mention the rest of us. But there's one last thing to be done. Get the cure into the fertilizer reservoir. Before you can do that, you'll need to finish shutting down the irrigation system. Come back here when you've done that. What about the cure for us? What do you think of Dr. Larson? Larson has been a godsend here. Not only is he a fine general practitioner and surgeon, he's doing great work in the field of fungal biology. He has really expanded our areas of research. I, I don't need to ask this now because we found the radio dish. See you around, Rangers. She did not give us the cure. It's fine, we have like two... We have a few hours left. And we can just reinfect ourselves if need be. Hey there, Rose. Showing these rookies how it's done? I'm doing my best to instruct them, Matthew. How are you feeling? Like shit. Hanging in there, Rose. <laughs> Hanging in there. Nice work so far, Rangers. You've got the right attitude towards helping folks out. I wouldn't be sitting here without that spirit. You have any supplies stocked up that we could use? Things are a little paltry right now, but... Uh, oh, ah, uh, that's the... Did you have this before? I don't remember. Sell all my junk! Brings me up to 148. Um... I don't want this. I already have this. I don't like the look of this. We have a crap ton of exploding pot fragments. You're right, this gave plus one outdoorsman skill. Don't sell that. Does anyone... Can anyone handle energy weapons? Rose's notebook. Ooh, Rose's notebook. Maybe I should, uh, hmm, yeah, I, I, I did look that, look through that, didn't I? Hmm. Yeah. Alright, uh, uh, not worth it. Not for 135 bucks. Submachine gun. I don't think anyone can use submachine guns. Could buy some more ammo. I might do that. Because I seem to be going through a whole lot of it, because I keep... Ooh, ooh, you also... Yeah. Uh, yeah, give me that ammo, please. 76, sure. What about this, 126? I'll buy, I'll buy that, yeah. It's fine. Uh, bye-bye. Thanks for coming by, Rangers. Always good to see new recruits taking their first steps into the big wide world. Ooh, dear Angela. Well, Cold Eye can take all of these. Angela. Can take like 10 of these. Better than nothing, right? This is the journal I think I read. Yeah, Dear Not Rose. And that was just the. Okay. Well, um. No cure for me! So, back down into the mushroom caves it is! And we're back. Back again. Looting pods. For no reason. Oh, there's still. Oh. Right. Just one person. Mm hmm. Everyone doesn't have to shoot. Kind of like this distribute all auto looting thing, but I do wish you could just tell the game that all junk items go to this person, etc. I guess that would. Come on, move up. I guess that would. 
cause problems if you hit the weight limits. Okay, save some parts in case I need to re-infect myself. So these three parts will live. Remember, I have parts left in the mushroom caves. Three parts, three people, one for each. Okay, we have some more parts here. Oh, is that a dig spot? That might be a dig spot. Who the hell would go into the mushroom caves and dig stuff? Oh. No, we're not gonna converse. We learned from upstairs that we do not converse with people who are stuck. I do hope we find some way to save them, otherwise that's gonna, that's gonna suck ass. I mean, I, I use one bullet to shoot them, so, and I get back half a bullet in money. That's not gonna be... That's not very economical. Ooh, large ring, some... Ooh, scrap! Yes! What's that large ring about? N now you... This thing is way too big to put on a finger. Maybe it was for someone with very, very big fingers. Leave you alone? I can only talk to you. I mean, I guess I could try and just go forth and uh, see you. And cut him, but I get a feeling that that will actually kill them. So let's not do that. Coming. Mm. I was about to say we're coming out into a larger cavern. Gold eye. Really low. Nope. Move here. Move here. Crouch down. Face the wall. Angela. Razardas. Else. Rose, get in there, in case. Sithara, just get in there. Pod people, pod people. Nice! Oh, that was actually cover. Nice. I never know when it's going to be cover and when it's not going to be. I thought those pillars upstairs would definitely be cover, but they weren't. For reasons. Also, well, Angela, you're also not looking so very good. Although, your current hit points are basically kind of almost what we... Okay, we're actually getting up there. Never mind. Shoot the maggot. Shoot the maggot. Nice. Shoot the maggot again. Nice. Should probably switch over to big ass wrench for you. Unfortunately, I do have two people who are using the same ammunition. Shoot the pod people. I love you, Coli. I love snipers. No, Rose! You were keeping flies as animal testing things? Okay. Oh, no, no! Ooh, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it throbbing. Ooh, that was scary. Right, can you attack diagonally with this? 
Oh, didn't they usually say you can attack diagonally? Okay, you can. You can't! You can only attack from the compass, compass directions. That is not helpful. That's kind of a sick sickle though. Stop, stop, stop. Bastard. Okay, it's gonna be Sathara before the pod person. Question is, is it gonna be someone after Sathara that can kill this bastard? Uh, actually, screw it. Now you have like. Hey, you still have. You still have 15 ammo? Right, because I gave you 10, you had 5, I gave you 10, you haven't reloaded yet. Sorry. Nice late dodge, Rose. Okay, yeah, it's Rose after. So, yeah, okay. That's good. That's good. Wait, you can. You have a 64% chance to hit the superfly from here? This I wanna see. Only well, shot through the cave wall, but still. Yeah, we're not moving up. Uh, you are... Mm, I... <laughs> You're moving up here. You're moving up here. Freaking you, 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 you. Oh, it costs costs three to reload. Dang it. Uh, well. Forty-seven percent chance if you shoot. Had a way, way, way higher, way higher percentage chance if you melee. Nice. Get nice and soft. Sergio was a good boy. Wait, was that Sergio? That just looked like a pod person to me. Oh, do you know that was Sergio? Lava, larva excrement. Not lava excrement, but larva excrement. Why am I going in to look at poo? That must have been one big larvae! And it, why is it white? Why is it not junk? Why is the larva poo not junk? God dang it. Do we have some more pods over here? Oh, the caves continue. More of this that we can't get rid of. Unless... Does the energy weapon work? Oh, that was the music. And it sounded like someone growling. Does the weapon work? I mean, it, it's fungicide, but it's also called herbicide. It's called herbicide, but the word herb was scratched out and, or herbie was scratched out and fungi was added. Please work. Well, at least I hit. Right, everyone, load up. We are done here. Which means we have the 
east and west parts left. East and west airlocks. How are we doing? I think I, I think I'm being overly paranoid. Eleven thousand seconds. Have we really gone down three thousand seconds already? That's not nothing. That's fifty minutes. Yes, yes. I'm too lazy to do that math in my head. Also, I hate math. Barely managed to get a... What the hell would that be? Just... Barely approved? For us, it's a... It was... A three. On a five grade scale. Then it was a G. Now it's I... I have no idea what the new scale is. Access violations! Uh, how about we go west? Because that one had one, I think. Zero out of one. So we need. Dude, it's poisoned! It's poisoned! Give me the status report again. East ventilation shaft status 1 out of 5. 0 out of 1. Okay, so maybe we should go east then. Because maybe there's one section of... Corridor that's not green death. That was the wrong button. That's the button I wanted. Nope! This is safe here, though. Combination lock, safe cracking, pills, go for it. The one who likes to sell. Critical failure! You give the little wheel a good spin and it flies right off its bearings, hanging up, hanging by a slowly unwinding spring. Bummer. No, oh, mechanical repair. Please don't crit miss. Good. Well, I mean, I do get more experience points this way. Twice? Twice? And I can't repair it anymore. Carefully examining the save, Rosaurus finds a working tumbler. No, I don't. It's locked and no amount of wishing will unlock it. Well... Uh, I mean, I think uh, Skinner said that they went upstairs to try and fiddle with the valves and stuff. Pills, you suck. Damn, you suck. I mean, two crit misses? That shouldn't be allowed. Have I just ran past things here? Could I go in here? No, well, this is the, the one of the... Uh, that's the other greenhouse. And I've been here. I've been here. I haven't seen any valves that could potentially shut off stuff. Unless I just really walked past something I want here. Can't get through this. Which, oh, which just leads here. Okay. Never mind. I didn't put that together. Uh, did I miss something in here, maybe?
Because I kind of went straight for that. After we killed the... Killed and rescued here. Uh, where did we come from? We came from here. They were there, so we never went up here. Oh look, we, I can I can dig. Doesn't help me with the poison downstairs now. Deck of cards and more energy cells. I really feels like I really really need to in have someone be able to use energy weapons. So what was it it said about energy weapons? Blue shields, you do more damage. If they don't have blue shields, you do less damage. So maybe not. There are five aces in this deck. Did I miss a valve in the mushroom caves? I don't know. I'm gonna go look through the mushroom caves again. While the seconds are slowly ticking down to our doom. Again, we have like three hours left, so should be fine. I'll do that, and if we, I find anything, uh, I guess I'll meet you there. But uh, for now, I'm going to end this episode right here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Why did I use, use Sathara? I don't know. Please take care of yourself, be kind, and I hope that you have a, just a fantastic and marvelous day ahead of you. I realized that didn't sound right when I didn't continue, but I, only, I wanted to end on day, but my mouth wanted to continue, so it became kind of weird. Anywho, laters.